I see Marxism all over the place. Uh, in, in yeah, what? I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you're hallucinating, okay? <laughs> please, ask him an example, please. Like, what, what is an example of Marxism that you see all over the place? I mean, she was a prof. No. Oh, I'm so horny for it. Let's watch it. Hurricanes that happened in... I think that they want the land. You know, I think that the government wants the land, and this is what they did. What? But what do you mean, that, what they did? They, they made her a, a fake tornado. Yeah, they planted whatever they do. They pull it. I mean, uh, okay, at, at a certain point, you got to realize, like, a person that looks like that is going to have that opinion. I guess, but my <laughs> God, like, I don't even know, like, oh. Uh, <laughs> like, come on, look at her, dude. <laughs> I mean, I guess, but Jesus Christ. Come on, come on. Like, what the f*** is she wearing? They all look like football fans that, like, don't know how to, like, articulate the details of, like, the sport that they're cheering for. You know what I mean? But that's like, we need to do a fucking exactly. quarterback. You think you I mean, he government? fucking drops back the pass, and they sack him. And, like, they just they need the a new coach. Like, like they don't know what the, the government is not Are you waiting for me to unpause? The government yeah. is not our friend. Do you think the government created the hurricane to, to hurt the United States? Absolutely. Not to hurt the United States. They want the land. They want the land what? for the for the not to hurt the, the United yeah, the States. They want the land. It's a distinction, sir. <laughs> what is that? The batteries, uranium yeah. stuff, whatever it is. Lithium. Lithium. The lithium. That the only reason I know that is because another lady at a Trump rally told me. Oh, they know. <laughs> they know. Uh, I do watch the news. Yeah. Do you watch the news? No, not okay. not all of it. We are here in Manhattan, outside Madison Square Garden. People have made the trip from Long Island, from Staten Island, even as far as New Jersey, <laughs> to be here. Did you guys come in from Staten Island, Long Island, or New Jersey? Long Island. New Jersey. Long Island. Long Island. New Jersey. So there you, there you have it. Do you want Trump to be a strong leader? He is a strong leader. You, do you want him to be like the strongest president in history? He already has been. Do you want Donald Trump to um, go after some members of the media? Absolutely. The media needs to be corrected. It's just so biased. It's it's uh, ridiculous. Do, do you consider Donald Trump uh, a, a nationalist, somebody an ultra nationalist? Absolutely. Trump gets along with everything. Trump keeps the peace. Trump makes the economy better. Do you think Trump is the is the only guy for the job right now? He is the best candidate. The best candidate. And the toughest. We need him. Do, do you think Trump is a fascist? No. Um, have you heard the, the reports of his <laughs> former chief of staff, John Kelly, saying he believes Donald Trump is a fascist? Nope. Don't believe it. Don't believe it? Nope. He, he said he's a fascist. He, he gave the definition of fascism. He was like, he is an ultra-nationalist. He wants to go after his enemies, the media. He said he's like a strong man candidate. What's your, what's your thoughts on that? Trump Don't is believe it. correct everything that needs to be corrected. And the poor guy has uh. been just beaten to death oh my god by the dude. wrong side but you don't I, you don't think he's a fascist no we are here at a trump rally look at this look oh at all the people god. would you just look at them would you are you excited to be here oh i'm absolutely excited to be here did you come in from long island or new jersey i'm from south jersey right outside of is that a deborah bro you know That's her the apple pie deborah. slaps <laughs> Like, you know, oh my God, bro, I'm telling you right now, you know she makes the best cookies and she sprinkles that sea salt on it too. Perfectly, oh, perfectly no. chewy. Mm. Philadelphia. Okay. Um, what's the capital of New York? Syracuse, right? <laughs> no, Albany, Albany, yeah, it is Albany. There you go, so. Yeah, so you can see uh, uh, people are here, uh, genuine New Yorkers. What's that song you're singing? Trump, Trump, a little higher. Nope. Trump, Trump, until you get tired. Scream it! <laughs> Woo! Trump 2024. Where am I going to be on? Well, I'm keep singing he's that. no racist. <laughs> Do you think Donald Trump would admit if he loses? <laughs> I'm not Donald Trump. You just have no idea? No. Nope. Given the past, do you think he'd admit if he loses? I'm not Donald Trump. Oh, wow. You're such just a, not Donald Trump. Such a Trump. brave answer. I, mean, I can't answer for him, so I can't say that. Okay, honestly, I thought you were Donald Trump for a second. No. We're not banning, you know, abortion, but we try to talk to people into maybe having the baby, giving it up for adoption. Abortion is banned in several Republican states. Well, in so, in some states, you know, but you all can't. all run by Republicans. But you can't go to other states, okay? Are you sick and tired of the people comparing <laughs> Donald Trump to Hitler? 
I the only ones that are saying that is uh, Kamala Harris. Well, and and then and also Trump's VP. Uh, JD Vance is comparing Trump to Hitler. I never heard that. He said Trump might be America's Hitler. I don't believe that that was said. I did not hear that. I don't believe that that would. Have. No, he said that. Trump is 100% for the people. He's for making America. Yeah, so was Hitler, <laughs> like for his people. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's not. <laughs> the thing is, these people like that Trump is like Hitler. They just don't understand it because in their minds, in their minds, they think like, you know, Hitler is bad and Trump is good. So there's just no way to like figure that out. You know what I mean? Like a great again. Right, no, I'm just asking uh, yeah, I, if, if did, you're. I didn't hear anything about that. Yeah, Absolutely. he said Trump might be America's no, Hitler. I, I don't think so. I think that Trump. No, is he gonna, did. No, I think that he's going to go. No, in but he did. And he's going to straighten out the country. The economy is going to turn around. It's going to be soaring. The border. No, I totally understand the e yeah. e economy and everything. Yeah. But I'm, I'm saying yeah. JD Vance did say Trump might be America's I Hitler. You tell me that. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Okay, did you just managed to not hear it. I just did not hear it. No, I never heard that. All right. Uh, so there you have it. Some people um, out here sure that Donald Trump is going to win and somehow not having heard, you know, big news that everyone seems to have heard. I think he won New York. New York State, Donald Trump in 2020. Hmm, possibly. What? Do you think he's going to win this year? Absolutely. 100%? 100%. I mean, this is... <laughs> Bro, what a life. <laughs> At what point is this ableism? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I sometimes do feel like we're just looking at, like, like we're making fun of people with, like, intellectual disabilities, I think. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> like, there's a, there's a line, okay? For someone to be like, oh, well, Trump's not Hitler. I don't care. That's one thing. But when, when someone's like, I won't tell you if he won, if he won New York or not. And then he's like, oh, will you, will he win this year? And she's like, yes. Okay. You're not like a serious part. You're, I don't understand how you are alive. How did you get to this point? Like who put the clothes on for you this morning? <laughs> you know what I mean? Want to bet a hundred dollars on it? That he wins New York state. hundred dollars that Donald Trump wins New York state. I hope so. Yes. Okay. All right. Can I get your contact? Can I get your contact info so I can... Okay, bro, he's trying to, he's <laughs> no. trying to collect my bet if I win. Get the good liars on the broadcast. I don't think they can be like that. They, they were kind of avoiding me at the DNC. Give me a, give me a so do you think Donald That's Trump will crazy. win the state of New York? People I are saying he's trying he to beat. I know it. You know he will? Yes. You're hundred percent sure? I'm hundred percent sure. Oh, do you want to bet on it? Yes. Okay. hundred dollars. You got it. Okay. Uh, what's your email? Just say your email address. We'll keep in touch. <laughs> I'm not going to say it here. Okay. But do you actually want to bet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you think the polls are lying about New York? Absolutely. Yeah. You think Donald Trump is going to win New York yes, State? Absolutely. A hundred different states. Do you want to bet a hundred dollars on it as well? Kamala Harris is a slimy, slimy communist. She's going to do what the globalists. I wish, man. <laughs> I wish. Tell her to do. Kamala Harris is actually a communist? Actual communist. She's the furthest left senator uh, of all uh, of all 100, uh, I think it was back in 2019. But are you saying that uh, is that hyperbole, or do you Absolutely believe she is not. actually a communist? I see Marxism all over the place. Uh, in, in yeah, what? I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you're hallucinating. Okay, <laughs> please ask him an example. Please, like, what what is an example of Marxism that you see all over? Sense. The I mean, she was a prosecutor. This is not a. A, a career path for a communist. Uh, absolutely it is. Why would they want to interrupt the certification of a presidential election, because which Joe Biden was... Investigate the votes and how many more cheating... Was I'm asking on. why would Antifa and all of them interrupt the certification of a presidential election in which Joe Biden was going to be certified as the next president. You're saying they posed as Trump supporters on January 6th. Why would they do that? To make Trump look bad. What? Okay, follow-up question. Why does Donald Trump want to release Antifa terrorists... <laughs> into and, yeah, and, yeah. and consistently calls them political uh political prisoners all right appreciate it when uh, the big blue toilet cities allowed uh, antifa to burn the joint down. you live in new york what are you saying or new jersey okay what the f do you mean down. that's what communists do they stoke violence the big blue toilet cities portland chicago you're in new york right now yes i know are you uh frightened of of I've being been, in New York? No, I've been here for decades. 
Why would you think I'm not from here? Well, it, you're, you're calling it a blue toilet city. It is. In many ways, New York is its not as bad as Portland or Seattle or San Francisco. Oh, come but on, dude. If, uh, What's so bad about New York? What's so bad about New York? Uh, the crime is pretty bad, mostly in uh, underserved communities. And that's where the com that's where the communists go first. What? The wrath of God is going full force. We cannot remove God from our country. And what do you mean the wrath of uh, God? This is my favorite Trump I supporter. I feel like um, with Kamala Harris. But you're saying the wrath of God is. Bro, that's like a registered nurse. You know what I mean? Like what the? F that shit scares me. I when know. I see a normal one have that take, I'm like, so they could be anybody. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that, that is, I think that is objectively scarier than just like having a dude with a weird Trump garb be like, oh, that's right. Trump is God's chosen son. It's like, that is like a registered nurse. Okay. What the, f that person is trying to find a vein in my arm. Okay. I am not trusting that person any longer. This makes me, this makes me mistrust my fellow man and woman. Okay. Is coming after Kamala Harris? No, no, no. I'm saying uh, God is very not. Um, sorry. Let me uh, take it back. Yeah, no, take your time. I don't think that God is happy with with what is happening right now. It really depends on the God that you're praying to um, and whatever push you feel within you. But so your God is telling you uh, vote for Donald Trump. Yes. Do you want Donald Trump to be a strong man, president? Of course I do. Do you want yeah. Donald Trump to uh, go after Democrats? 100%, yeah. Do you want Donald Trump to go after the media? Uh, yes, I do. We, need, no, we need a new whole system on the media. Do, do you think Donald Trump is the only man for the job? Right now, 100%. Only, the only guy that could do this is Donald Trump. Right the only right one? Who right else now. is there? Who else can I hope they don't have vote? children. Do you think Donald Trump is a fascist? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, they do? Oh, God. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching the video. We want to remind you. Each. <laughs> Ten each. There's a chick in my trade school who says God clearly speaks to her in her head and preaches at anyone. I don't get it. That was depressing. Are are there more, like, insane loonies out there? Or is it the internet that, like, made more loonies? I feel like the I, internet... I mean, I've met a couple people like this at the rally, like, the, at my gym. Like, I've met people. I, I got into a debate about... That's my least favorite part of living in los angeles is that i never see these oh freaks. dude there's so many of them at, like i've seen them i've met them i've debated them uh, actually that's not true i do i see them at like public parks and shit but they're like half the time it's like you can't tell if if the person is like homeless or not i just can't i can't have i can't debate them anymore like i just it's insane like you just you can't i can't do it just go to huntington beach lamal yeah no thanks you can't reason with that level of stupidity. There's no reasoning with it. Because that you just back them into a corner where they're just like denying things that are right in front of their face. Nope. 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 That's what that's what eventually you get to. Yeah. I mean so much. That. I've talked about this before, but like so much of of like the pro Trump sentiment, like this is this is genuinely this is worse than it was ever before. But so much of the pro-Trump crowd just stems from not knowing a thing. Yeah. Like, just not knowing simple facts about a certain issue. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. That's what it is. All right, everybody. That's it for tonight. Stop.